Welcome on back over here to Rustin, and what an afternoon it was for a little bit of college football. We got to see a game that we've only seen one time before, and it's been about 20 years in the making. Louisiana Tech squaring off against Grambling, and you heard it just in the forecast. It was a hot one. Heat advisory. Now, right now, as you can tell, it's still at just about 100 degrees, but this was up all the way to about 121 on the field. That's not counting humidity. You add that in, you add about another 5, 6 degrees. We were playing in about 130 degrees. Now I should say they were playing. I was just standing here struggling with the rest of the fans. But what a football game everybody got to see. And when you're out here for a game like this, the most important thing that you can do is stay safe. I mentioned it before. It was pretty hot, as you can tell by this. Everyone was trying to find a cool spot. You got to find high hydration you got to find a little bit of sunscreen you got to do whatever you can do to go ahead and try and beat the heat sometimes it feels like a bit overboard but when in doubt better to be safe than sorry and once that was underway we got a chance to see like I said a great football game between these two teams first quarter and we were still scoreless here with just about a minute left before the handoff goes to Justin Henderson he gets to the right side and dives on in for the touchdown tech takes a seven to nothing lead with about a minute 30 to go there in the first quarter. Second quarter now, and this was a very scary sight to see. Grambling senior Dequarian Fields would have to leave the game with a serious leg injury. He is not going to be back anytime soon. His season might be done after this. Everyone definitely keeping the Arcadia native in their thoughts and prayers moving forward. Game does go on, though, and Tech able to stretch that lead to 20 to nothing at halftime. This is Jamar Smith throwing a strike across the middle, finds Griffin Hibbert. He's able to haul it on in for seven more points to the second half we go, and you thought Tech might put this game away. Grambling not having any part of that. They fight their way back. It's their quarterback, Jeremy Hickenbottom, leading them down the field. Eventually, he finds Ray Richardson right there. That's good for a 23-yard strike. Grambling would then get within a score, but the defense would close the door for Tech as they're able to come up with the fumble right here and the recovery. They would go on to get the win, 20-14, to 14, which was a lot closer than what most people expected. And that wasn't our only game going on today. Now, I didn't have a chance to update the billboard right here, as you'll see. But ULM on the road, squaring off against Florida State. And things not really going their way so far. They were down 21 nothing last I had checked. And it was still pretty early on in that thing. So a chance for them maybe to come back. And if they get that shocker of a win, boy, I tell you what, at 2-0, the Warhawks would definitely be excited for where their season is going. Not the only games we are looking forward to tonight either. We got a few other big ones, and that includes LSU on the road. Top 10 showdown squaring off against ninth-ranked Texas. Been a lot of talk between the, these, two, these two teams, I should say, over the last couple of days, even surrounding the idea of who the real DBU is. Well, the Tigers secondary better be ready because Sam Ellinger is the real deal. He's a Heisman candidate for a reason. And he looked pretty good in week one. But the Tigers, they looked pretty solid in week one themselves. And they're headed into this thing with a ton of confidence. Yeah, I'm fired up about it. Um, we're we're going to have our work cut out for us. And, you know, we're going to need our guys to be in the film room and, and study a lot this week to, to be prepared. And, you know, we're going to have to be mentally tough going into that stadium. I know it's loud and it's going to be rocking. But, but I, th I know, you know, we're up to the task and we're all excited for it. Well, I think, I think we have some of the hardest workers here in the country. And, you know, I know our coaching staff is here, you know, all day and night to, to prepare the best game plan for us. Meanwhile, it's just about kickoff for Arkansas as well. The Hogs looking to move to 2-0. and How about them scoring off against Old Miss? Neither of these two teams really look that good week one. So Arkansas kind of go ahead and get a win after they beat Portland State barely. Either way, you can't imagine that either of these two teams are going to do very well once SEC play like really starts ramping up. So this might be their only chance at getting a conference win. So take advantage of it when you can. We'll see if the Hogs can go ahead and get that win number two on the season. But that is going to be it for sports. We'll have one last look at your.